Joining us this morning is Richard Spinrad. He's the NOAA Administrator and the Undersecretary of Commerce for Oceans and Atmosphere. Dr. Spinrad, thank you for being with us this morning. Thanks for having me, Allie. What, what's new about this? Because intellectually, my audience understood that the consequence of this climate crisis for many people, and this is a disastrous, big infrastructure consequence, is, is rising sea levels. The numbers are more shocking than, than some of us expected. Yeah, think of the uh, coastal communities in this country. 40% of our population lives along the coast. These populations are at risk, and I really appreciate your calling out in particular, the most vulnerable communities who are at risk. In order to make the kinds of changes that this administration is moving out so aggressively on with respect to infrastructure, building out our roads, our electrical grids, our water treatment facilities, we're gonna have to be able to make decisions based on the best information. What's really fundamentally different about this report is that you can take it to the bank. The knowledge, the information, the data in the report here are accessible, they're highly accurate, and they're actionable. We can start to use these to make plans to accommodate change in infrastructure, to make our people safer, to make ourselves more prosperous as well. So it's really having the tools to use to make the changes that we need to make in the next several decades. So let's talk about that, because I, the question always becomes, there will be some costs involved in, 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 in preparing ourselves for it. Who bears the brunt of those costs, right? If you have a place in a coast that gets flooded, the, the mitigation of that, which is if you have insurance is paid for by insurance, is far more costly. I've heard it said that it's four times as much money to mitigate um, flood damage than it would have been to build out in a way that prevents against it in the first place. But who makes that decision to take your house and protect it or to take your street or your neighborhood or your state or your county and protect against this data, new data that you have? Well, Ali, the short answer is there are a lot of decision makers here. It's the individuals with property, it's the insurance companies, it's the local uh, counties and emergency managers. At NOAA, we're trying to provide the tools for what we are calling a climate ready nation, the kinds of tools that will allow these various decision makers to smartly plan for the kinds of things that they'll need with respect to the infrastructure. You know, the, the Biden-Harris administration is very forward-leaning with respect to the issues of mitigation, as you just described, reducing our carbon emissions, uh, increasing the use of renewables. At the same time, we are going to have to recognize that, without a doubt, we will see this uh, sea level rise within the next couple of decades and consequently make the changes that are predicted. Uh, we're showing some of the maps uh, that have been provided by you. There are coastal areas. We're just looking at Florida. I mean, there's no part of coastal Florida that's not negatively affected by this. At what point does becoming a climate ready nation mean having hard discussions about where people should live uh, and, and whether they shouldn't be living in places that are going to see potentially a seven foot increase in, uh, in, in sea levels by the end of the century? The reason why we were so eager to get this report out, uh, first of all, is because of the accuracy and the utility of the report, but because now is the time to start planning. Now is the time to start making changes to code, to building code. Now is the time to start making investments. And we really have to plan in order to make these bits of information and this knowledge work most effectively. Failing to plan is planning to fail when you get right down to it. So to the extent we can provide the tools to help with that planning, this is why we're so eager to get this in the hands of the American public. Well, we appreciate it. We always like when real data comes out that people can use, they can at least interpret it, and they can do something with it. So we always appreciate that, and we hope that this is the first of many conversations with you. Appreciate your time this morning. Thank you very much. Rick Spinrad is the NOAA Administrator.